Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. And amen. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walk in the light of God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walk in the light of God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Okay. In the light of God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Okay. In the light of God. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the light. Oh, walk. Walk in the light. Oh, walk. Oh, walk in the light. Walk in. in the light of God. Good evening, my brethren, in the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We need to rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, God bless you. There is a man of God. Uh, you are in uh, Germany. Mr. Day, your wife is sitting here today. Hooray! This is a day. Happy, happy uh, birthday to you. And our prayer is that you go higher and higher and higher. Because Today is your birthday, and thank God for your life. Okay, you know, we usually come on your way uh, Wednesdays and Sundays, but last Wednesday, the topic at hand, we could not dive into it properly. So I decided to uh, use today so that we can do some teaching as well. So this is Friday special for you. If you have the link, please share to a brother. Share to uh, a friend, let them come on board and let's begin to do maturity in marriage and in relationship. In most cases, uh, the reason why people are struggling in their marriages is that it doesn't matter their age, they are immature. If you can't forgive your wife that you claim you love, it's a sign of immaturity. If you can relate with people very well, uh, it's a sign of maturity. If uh, when you are angry, uh, you, you detach yourself from people, it's a sign that you are not very, very mature. Maturity has nothing to do with uh, age or stature. Although age is important, but there are areas one ought to consider. Are you matured? That's the question. If you can beat your wife, then it doesn't matter who you are, you are not mature, not at all. If you can insult your husband, eh? lack maturity. If you can do something bad and you can't say, I'm sorry, oh no, you are not mature. You are not mature. So the problem you have in our world, why men, so men are cheating on their wives because they lack maturity. So we want to dive into uh, another aspect or area of maturity. Yes, I've seen Cynthia. Cynthia, good evening, Mama. Yeah, idea. So ni uno uno. Yeah, dia eka ya nche she ho. But maybe uh, you don't know. Abasa was here. Yeah, I guess Sunday you mean go here. You Yeah, that's why we are here. All right. So you mean now? If you hear the sound of my voice, you do yourself good if you can share to, with a brother. Tell them to come to Bishop Adolfo. Married daughter has taken a seat. This is Friday ed edition for you. 
na nso wonyini awade mu eno nti nyina onyini nti na otumi ebu onyire no e onyire no bone wa nyini ya onya saada e nyina ya ka ho asab no nya tinti ne kase o da bi e esu ene e ban how is your maturity level are you a mature man of god are you mature woman of god how is your maturity level and come on and you may be the end of no and the ultimate in can now about more than say hey and let me call me call me come up with tb i was going to say my kind of your program no a year this program is only wednesdays and sundays but we we i i thought of that wednesday we could not do much uh, because of the questions and all that which is very very important which were very very important so today we have come your way friday special and uh if you have just joined to this feed why don't you share uh with a friend with a brother tell your girlfriend to come on board and tell uh your boyfriend also to come on board but adventure there might be a word that will change many many uh, things in their life. Bishop Adolfo is my name. And tonight uh, we are going to do this maybe an hour or so. And that will be it. At least we want to go to an area or areas in uh, maturity that can help us a lot. Uh, Kofi Kwati, actually, greetings, Daddy. Greetings, sir. And uh, uh, what we have a listener from Germany, Mr. Day. Uh, your wife is celebrating a birthday today. Sister, yes. I'm a happy birthday to you. Why are you? You have tried. But why are you? So I'm all these years. But for me, most of the time, if it is birthday, it is about the God that has uh, made us who we are. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Baby, I will be a no a wedding slap, papa, 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 papa. God richly bless you. Thank you very much. God, thank, thank you very much, and God bless you, and God bless you. Please share the link to a brother, share a link to a friend, because God will surely bless that person. Yeah, very, very, very necessary. We are here because of Jesus, and I'm sure, sir. Radiba will be ye. Radiba will be. The program said, you know, a year. We come on your way uh, Wednesdays and Sundays. Today, just special edition. And we just want to help somebody to be matured. All right. So we want to, uh, those of you who were with us last Wednesday, uh, maturity is required in every marriage. And today, the teaching is for. The married and to the singles as well. Don't forget, maturity is not a gift, it's a choice. Marriage is not a nursery or a crutch. So you don't just go in there to do rehearsal. No. <laughs> there are some things you need to know before you say, I do. You can't just say, I want to marry. No, no, no. Unfortunately, we don't take marriage serious. So most people have married, yes, and they themselves have a lot of challenges. As I speak to you now, some men, they are not talking to their wives at all. And uh, other women too uh, have a uh, speaking term with, uh, with their own husbands and many, many, many more. Problems, problems, problems. Every day, somebody has done the jealousy uh, and all that overprotected, uh, overprotective of a spouse and all that. They are all signs of uh, immaturity. And so we want to address uh, areas that we need to consider. Last Wednesday, we addressed financial uh, maturity. That is, if you are single, make sure you work, you have income before you marry. And the income, we talk about constant inflow. Constant inflow. It's not like uh, you are there, and somebody gives you 2000 and you want to marry. Yes, the 2000 although it's money, but if you don't have constant flow, 
and uh, you marry, you're going to suffer. You invite Jidi and Kwan, what is it? No, say, you're a baby, you're a baby, and you're a baby, you're a baby. When you're a boy, you're a true, you're a boy, you're a true, you're a son, you're a nipper, son, you're a 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 son, you're and you marry, you are going to have a challenge. And so that was what we did last Wednesday. Today, we want to go about physical maturity, emotional maturity, mental maturity, if time will allow us. Somebody asked a question this morning that uh, what she needs to know before she marries. I was going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, or any kun at tears or in Shadan Goye, or near so the tears and goye cra. A very happy uh, Thanksgiving to all our brethren in USA. All right, so and I am here, I mean, a day my na yen chalachi, a bompire. Father, we give you glory and we thank you, Jesus, for opportunity to come to this side to speak to your children. Jesus, uh, you were born as a child, you grew, and eventually you died for us. Help us to grow in stature, in a way that our relationship will be colorful and bright. Those who have no marriage, give them opportunity and help them so that uh, they will be matured before they, they say, I do. And those who have married, like our mothers, our aunties, our nieces, our fathers, brethren, and our uncles and sons help all of us and help them to be matured enough to live the rest of their, their life with their husband and wife. Help them to enjoy their marriage relationship. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so let me go very, very fast today and see where we can reach. So far, so good. Okay. Uh, so if you hear the sound of my voice, you just share the feed to a brother, to a friend. Let them know we are here. Yeah, very, very necessary. We are here. And where are you? I know you are also coming. Very necessary. Maturity in relationship. Now, listen. So let me begin with married. Because uh, already you are married. So let's begin to talk to the married people. And uh, let's see the immature uh, ways in their relationship and uh, mature, I mean, mature in the relationship so that they will know whether where they are standing is not good or not. Let's say uh, a woman, a wife, every day you uh, submit to somebody. When you go to a saloon as a wife, uh, the hairdresser will tell you some things and you comply with it. A woman, whatever they want you to do with your hair, you need to comply. Yes, you go to your doctor, the same thing. As a matter of fact, your lawyer, at times, driving your pastor. And so you have uh, many, many ways that you submit to people every day in your life. If you are driving as a woman and a policeman, a policewoman raises his or her hand like this, we need to stop. So every day, we submit to somebody. Unfortunately, in most marriages, some wives are immature. And so they are saying, I can't submit to my husband. But every day you do submit. Any woman who has problem with uh, submission is a sign of immaturity. And uh, it's unfortunate that you can submit to your doctor, which is good, and your beautician, your lawyer, even uh, when it comes to uh, traffic. At times, nobody is there, but you see traffic like red, and common sense man tells you to submit to that uh, signal, else you'll be crushed. So in life, every day, whether you like it or yes, we submit to somebody, we submit to something. And so submission is part of our world. And yet, in most people, in their marriages, they find it difficult to submit. And so this evening, 
Now, what is your submission level as a wife? Is a question I'm asking you. What is your submission level as a wife? Do you submit to your own husband? Is a question I'm asking you. Because in most cases, we have married though, but it is not the best uh, the way things are. And think of every hour, 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 if you lack understanding about human relationship, it's a sign of immaturity. And so let me begin with the signs of immaturity so that you must be able to uh, examine yourself. According to, uh, uh, I'm sure, Second Corinthians 13, 5, 13, 5, the Bible says, examine yourself, examine yourself. Don't forget, marriage is not for boys, it's for men. Genesis 2. 24, Genesis 2, 24, it is not good for, uh, okay, it's not good for a man to be alone in Genesis 2, 18, but in 2, 24, the Bible says the man will leave his family and join to his wife, a man, not a boy. So marriage is for mature people, Genesis 2, 24. What are the signs that uh, show that if you are single, you are, Im uh, you are immature? Let's say, here you are. Every day you are in relationship with a guy, a man or a woman, and you all the time would give excuses of his uh, attitude that is not right. Oh, person no be never there. When you plan in the subway, the be out now defending. It's a sign of immaturity. Why would you defend evil? Once a while, if the person has done something just once, but in your case, every day you defend. The person in question. Maybe there was an appointment between you, this person, and your family, and the person was late. One day, but every day, in his lateness or her lateness, you defend that person. If you defend evil all the time, it's a sign of immaturity. Very, very important. What do you have to defend in your Now, if uh, you are in this world, Let's say in your own way, you want to marry a tall person. And then because you think you are aging, you are growing, you met somebody in your own way who is not tall. And you marry that person. And after some time, now that you have downloaded, the person has downloaded many children for you. Now you are saying that, well, it's not my size. It's a sign of <laughs> immaturity. If you know the right thing and you don't do, it's a sign of immaturity. If you found, you can forgive your wife, it's a sign that you, you are you are too small. You may be a banker, you may be a manager, but you are small. In mind, you are too small. If you look at your wife and you can cheat on your wife, it's a sign of immaturity. If you are matured, you will never do such a thing. Because if you are matured, whatever you are doing, if you are doing something against your wife, against your husband, against your girlfriend or boyfriend, you will think about him or her first. Anytime you begin to operate in the corridors, corridors of selfishness, it's a sign of immaturity. And the Yakama was just in summer, yet in a who said, Mao, I'll be obi on any other net here. The person may never hear me as an Obana in my toss of nine, or see, and until me a crowd of men to the day. Are you serious? Go and abort that child. I know that child, unwanted child. But you were the man who did the thing. Well, you are, you are too big, supposed to protect yourself. Are you serious? And because of this, the man has stopped giving money to his wife. This man, whether he's 100 years or whatever he is, is he matured? Said your man, bro, we are seeing. Then you mean, Homobo no bang in Sam, and that's also back or Adam Bona, open me and Sam and I a bar. Honey, I go to a bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hope. May your bama, may I am paying the Hong Kong for 
anyanyam adwuma me ye nti na se de ma tem yo mu mu a e mema bi e ye ma basa basa no oba kono ko wares no nya onya nyin se bra o bre hospitals upon hospitals and look at so men the way we maltreat our wives so i'm beginning with signs of immaturity in relationships and then we go to much uh the areas that you need to mature so the signs if you look at a man or your a, a, a young girl and then you look at a man and a young man you despise him you are immature so he will be na uh you must never do such a thing. But you see, for a mature person, you tell you are dogger. Let's say if you can't accept your mistakes, yeah, in any relationship, either married or you are dating or you are in gossip, if you can't accept your mistakes, it's a sign of immaturity. So we now we know we are in a tie. Why are we being here? Because we are in patch order. Who is here? Usa. Usa or Usa? Yeah. Who is here? Da da da. Why are you not coming? Usa. So we know who is in a tie. Pa, no, I will be asking. Why are you asking? My dear, my dear, my dear, dear, Akuse. Ah, so I am patch order. I just say, Usa. Now, who are you, Bema? Who are you, Oba? Now, I said, "Brother, move you." But when I move, I said, "Move you." So, 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 move him home. Now, I said, "What do you mean?" I said, "I said, it's the end." But the main part is that. Now, so your bar, now Obama will be on. Now, what are you? Now, I said, "Where Jimmy?" Obama only fools want to. I'm from here. And brother, move you. Move if you're Muslim. Now, Ojo, Ojo. Now, only fools want. Oh, what are you? Where Jimmy? Where do you mean? Unfortunately, most people. Saw this red sign, these signs, red flags, and they went into it. I was going for young kind of crap. So, we now all drive it. No one who read a traffic light red was a bit of you can be crashed. Abrabona airborne, I want to be a good for them. Most people enter into marriage, they saw red flags, but because of immature way of handling issues, they went into it. Thinking that they can change things. How can you marry? And you say, I want to marry to change him. You. Do you have power to change people? Anytime you have that such mentality, it's a sign of immaturity. Isn't it? No, because I'm say, I want to know you go, we ask me, you know. And you put a woman, you know. So the question to you, how mature are you? Either you are single or you are married. How mature are you? What is maturity? I want to take the definition again. Maturity is a period of definite growth of spiritual, physical, and mental, and financial, which enhance more meaningful life. Obey as a Isaac Devs. Mark, uh, what me born in Samsa? And yeah, is it bad? Yeah, me oh, oh, yeah, kata kati and this so maturity is a period of definite growth of spiritual and physical and mental and financial, which enhance more meaningful life. And the mirror, a new pattern, say, na only one, not genuine, the sick, I say, one, the soon, Nini pa biye mu, nini pa bane bobre mu. Nti ya nebe ule ura honu mungi na na yashe. Abu si yafu. Most people have married. They saw red lights. They ignore. Hey. How can you do such a thing? For example, in relationship, you need to have boundaries. Boundaries. Let's say, I told my wife that time that in case I touch your hand, uh, that let's go and sleep. Slap me. So there are some areas you must not go there. If you are with somebody dating or in relationship, and the partner doesn't have doesn't respect your boundaries, it's a red flag. Because if right now he can uh, respect your body, he doesn't have value for you. When you marry that that person, he can never value you. And yet, we have seen all this, and people have still gone ahead and married. 
Kanyumurei, marriage requires maturity because marriage is not a crutch. It's not a place that we do rather. There are some areas one ought to consider before he or she marries. So let's begin with those areas uh, this evening. But I've already done small teaching about signs of immature relationship. So bear my wife for what are we going to take now? Children in Kasai. Ah, we need to answer. A straightforward, a man. Ah, for one week, you, have not talk, you are not talking to your wife. No, you are not a wise person. In case you don't know, you are the head of the house. That's why you claim all the time. But when it comes to attitude, behavior, there, you lack it. If anything doesn't go well in the relationship, man, you are responsible. And so for you to be with your family and fail to talk to your wife and children for a week, you are not wise. I don't care who you are. You are not wise. Unfortunately, most people are like that. So you can see immature to immature people have married and anytime the husband and wife are immature their relationship is bound to crash how is your maturity level? Are you a mature husband? Can you relate with people? You easily get offended. Jesus Christ. And we're Christian that speak in tongues. But something small put you off. And some people, when they are offended, they won't talk to anybody. They are not nice. They, there's some, they, now they have a word called mood swing. They are mood just change. And some go, and you may, and you may, and you may, maturity, now you can want some. Don't forget, maturity is not age. Maturity is not stature. It is things you do mentally, physically, emotionally, and all that. Listen, love is great. Romance is sweet. But matur maturity makes marriage enjoyable. Do you want to take it again? Love is sweet. Love is great. Romance is sweet, but maturity makes marriage enjoyable. Love is great. Romance is sweet, but maturity makes marriage enjoyable. And then you ray, although the air more from famous way, but onyini, and the mawa ya kono onyini, and found something from famous onyini, and all the air kono dao. How is your maturity level? How is your maturity level? I am saying, Missa, and I mean, Missa, and you will wear between the abrami. How is your maturity level? If for a wife, how far can you tolerate your husband? How far is your forgiveness level and your flexibility level? Hey, say 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 very 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 important and now we be shopado for me day and you may i feel you would oh daddy i wish my husband was watching this this oh oh daddy and anyway so if you want to yeah auntie answer uh so me 
Come on, daddy. It's not easy. Oh, obey Esther. I'll say, oh, daddy, I wish my husband was watching this. Oh, oh, daddy, my. Uh, well, can, can you just send him the link? I think you can do that. Yes, you can do that. Very, very necessary. Send him the link. And let's see. Yeah, as you know, the school is Wednesdays, uh, uh, 2 p.m. and Sunday, 6 p.m. So today, last Wednesday, we could not, uh, we couldn't do much when, when we began the maturity level. So only the financial aspect. So I want to do quickly physical maturity, emotional maturity, and maybe spiritual maturity if I can do that. And so that we can do mighty, mighty, mighty things today. And God will richly bless you. Yes. So let's continue. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Okay. So let's begin with physical maturity. Physical maturity. Physical maturity. Obi uh, Onuwa, yeah, until you may be able to my angel, you can cry. Now, you can call in him. Okay, I've already told you that love is great, romance is sweet, but maturity makes marriage enjoyable. Wow. Hey, how do I do? I feel like I'm kiss is ready. But the mama is the party. So, the question is what is your maturity level? Maturity is not a gift, it's a choice. Listen, understand yourself. <laughs> yeah, so that you know that when you marry, this is what I need to give to my spouse. Because marriage is what you offer to your spouse. And in case you don't know, hmm, the best time to develop maturity is when you are single. That's the truth. Unfortunately, we don't do it. Because marriage is not a crutch. It's not nicely. It's a serious job. That's why Genesis 2.24, the Bible says a man who leave his family, not a, a boy, not a teenager. <laughs> and so, yeah. Oh. Hmm. So, the best time to develop maturity is when you are single. Because, listen, maturity goes hand in hand with personal responsibility yes and obia when you na dwene mu o kon kan o na dwene mu o nim na sede a e o se o ye yen sha se and then free let's begin with the uh emo because i want to talk about emotional uh maturity and physical maturity so let's begin with physical maturity physical maturity that is uh, I've already told you, marriage is not a daycare or a crutch. It involves responsibility. Marriage is not a daycare or a crutch. It involves responsibility. So learn how to take care of yourself. So let's say physically, there are some people, they have married though, they, they, unless their husband tells them to go and bath before they bath. As a young girl, you need to learn that at least every day you need to shower two times or even more. You need to know that cleanliness is meant to godliness. So physical maturity means that you know when to shower and you do it <laughs> responsibly. Very, very important. Obu Oma, and you may see everything. Mune Munu, she and you may see it. She and say, Oba, Obe, do Huni, Bema, Uba, Obe, Shevu, Abog, you say, okay, and I'm ranting and the other. But also, it's a little bit of a But you say, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you need physical. So you say, you treat yourself. Sammy, Sammy. Ah, very necessary. Come on, come on, come on. And I will tell you, come on. You're not going to come Hey. Now, I know what you're saying. My wife say, yeah, yeah. You don't want me to kiss her. And you, you, he came to me. And I asked the wife, I said, Daddy, ask your son. This son of mine was somebody that, I know the man can come. Hey, he drinks. Now we obu. Hey, I am so old. I'm not old anymore. Now when you come here, I say, "Hey, hey, I know you're there." Obi ba menche say me yiri. Washen e draw singi na ne asa. Inti ba mano 
Uh, uh, what friend is saying? <laughs> Boxer short to know what Listen, if you are single, learn how to wash your clothes. Learn when to bath and do proper showering. And if you are single, learn when you go to shower. As a young woman, you know you need to clean your private part very well. I guess I said the same one. They who say, Acquire first to see you fear and defeat me. Physical maturity. When you are with Sian Zao, then you are young and you go to see a senior man. Sian you may see it, Sian you are no one. Sian you may see it, Sian you are no one. Shwe. Oba. Hey. When you are a grandium, you know. Bearman so sabi sabi. What you will say? Why you want to have a source in Mubawa? Would you go baby? Ningi na ube suya nsani ya ura wadiye mu. Marriage involves responsibility. So it's not a crutch or a daycare. That is why only men and women must marry. Ah, obe ma wano o yiriti. Unyare. Awe ura de. Ma ebi bre hu fifre. Nambe kizo. Nambe o. O yi o nyini ye. Obe ma on pao e jare ye. Awa wani fye duyo siye. O nyini ye. So we are doing physical maturity. You need to learn clean where you live. Hey, but if you if you are I mean, there are some people look at them. You meet them out there, beautiful, shining, handsome. Go to the house, smelling. I would say, so I would die, I would die of fear. So I say, yes, 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 fear. She and son, wa what go out demo? Now, if you are a young cacra, now bow on the bear matia, they draw the tail to a sitting in our dear go at the moonsy, bear my boss ashore to offer say, Way, way, you're the piaka. Obey us as you do, oh, hey, daddy. I'm like, love it is. Good evening, Bishop. Keep on the cool way. You go here, don't come out there. Bishop. Okay, in case you join me, uh, Wednesday we could not do much to maturity. That is important in marriage. So we did only financial maturity today. We want to do physical, emotional, and spiritual. If time will allow us. Ah, no, baby, 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 to teach our daughters that private that what we call police is necessary. See, see, I can't even wear your hands on my brow. I'm wearing my hands on your clothes. Let me, let me, let me. Know how to iron your clothes. If we are still going to be told to do these things, you are you are not matured. So when you come to TV, na unyare, unzini yama, ufi hobongi se ukuranga, udi dia unjuin chenzim. Baby, I'm not doing. I'm here for I am. Fifty-seven. I'm away. Me, me, oh, me, ma. And then the cousins. What are you doing, man? Me, me, the day I'm drinking, me, I'm getting me. Fifty-seven. And me, one of my contact, you know, a senior pastor. So for so daddy, cause he has a son. Uh, Kevin, but maybe me, me, the day I'm drinking. No. Ha ha. Can I say, Balvin, twice. Oh God, have mercy. My wife will be happy today, Papa. Eh. And they will come away because I never went. I didn't talk about Obu. I'm going to choose. Oh, my uncle is in it. When you are there, oh, my uncle is not that. We just pay you. I go. Me see me to choose. Me to choose. Hey, but anyway, when I say about two two times, you know, a relative. Let's say right now who I am. I wear what I know. If you go to Canada by this time, snow. As a matter of U.S., some places snow. Over here it's not snowy, but I tell you, and yeah, easy. Aha. Of I will be I can no time for approaching for any one day I can. In the approaching I'm on the I mean kind of crazy or bah which we are. But anyway, there's no excuse though, but the weather here is tough. As a matter of fact, uh after maybe if I'm doing program, I can do twice. But anyway, we buy many men quantum and I'm a very young one here. Maybe you're hard here. But I was an opat to be a weather. I won't try it. We are in Mirror. We are in Mirror. It is likely, but I don't know. But I can say in Ghana, hey, some of you have Ghana pay. 
so the what I want to say when it comes to showering, probably it's relative because as I said, uh, I've been in Canada for some time, and I tell you, uh, before you sleep, you need to zip yourself like uh, six tops. You zip yourself as somebody to take you somewhere. Uh, but what is Ghana, about Africa, if you read Tuesday, none of you are going to my own, who problem? Can I do problem? Hey! Then you can't have a car, 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 you can't have a I want to correct that one, because I didn't even know somebody said, no time for a car, you can For me, I, I, I will only say this because of the weather, because I tell you, uh, when it is winter, uh, yeah. I feel no more Saturday, but elsewhere it is snowing. And thank God today, you said, I said, uh, eight, I said, my t-shirt. <laughs> but at least I am saying, before you sleep, as a husband, as a wife, shower. Learn how to shower before you sleep. Clean your teeth. Remove all these hairs from here. Stream your hair cut. Learn before you marry, and those who have married that you are not doing it, it is not right. I worry to you, couldn't say, or by no more if you use it to be a night. A big move you can't 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 not your region. Okay, in the Bible, Esther chapter 2, verse 12. Esther 2, 12. Esther went into cleansing, learned how to clean herself for one year before she entered into marriage. In the Bible, Esther chapter 2, verse 12. She learned cleansing, she cleaned herself for one year. And the Bible says, Kenya, I'm going to be natural. And the Bible says, who is the one who is the one who is the one who is a demo sake to a year or a day, a bit more bro. Who might be an annoy? Learn how to cook. Yes, I understand you can go and buy food and all that, but one day be your, your husband wants you to cook. Why, what are you going to do? One day, be what are you going to do? So, when you talk about physical maturity, we are saying cleaning yourself, cleaning your environment, learning how to cook, very necessary. And if a woman, when you go to shower, clean your private part very well. To you hold you? And why are you for him? By why I'm fast and clean for all. So that be an simple, simple. How come why ye ye? It be as simple as be a bon. And what? As I will buy now, I buy. I be ye. We are going to go for bread. These are very very necessary. Okay. Now, if you are young person that you have not married, before you marry. Ask yourself, do you want to marry uh, somebody who is tall, who is uh, probably fat? Now, you need to have these questions answered before you say, I want this one. Don't go and marry and after downloading four children with a person, then you come and say, it's not my size. Oh, yeah, right? We'll be a warrior bar in our so if a young person, young man, preparation towards marriage, when it comes to maturity, know what you want. So open, ten thing, open theater, but don't forget, don't marry a Goliath. Who. And yes, I was about to say, a man don't marry Delila. Yes, I don't copy Chasu. But a man said, who is a very educative, great one, daddy. Thank you very much, mommy. Uh, today, as I said, we, we come your way only Wednesdays and uh, Sundays. 
uh, today, Friday edition, uh, because Wednesday we could not dive into uh, maturity proper. So I just told you that I want to do this in the morning. And I've started, I, like, I started with uh, some signs of immaturity. And then you could now we are talking about physical maturity. Very, very, very necessary. And who here? Hey, who do you want to be here? Oh, you, I guess I can't just say, go jare. One way it is, one way jare. Oh, that be. Now, you'll be saying, so, in the papa way jare. Answer. There's something you call self-discipline. There are some things you don't need somebody to remind you to do so. No. To clean your teeth twice a day. At least if you are in a bro, whatever you are, the weather may not allow you, but you will never sleep when you go out there with all this, whatever. You shower before you sleep. Very necessary. Now, more to more food. There are some people who remember some people who are still food. Ah, no, I didn't. Those things you need to learn before you marry. And when you marry, you don't need to be told. Okay, so Esther 2.12, she, Esther went into cleansing for 12 months before she married. So very necessary. Now, if you are single, your man, your man physical uh, maturity, learn how to communicate. Very important. Learn how to talk. Learn manners. Learn courtesy. Kwa mbani fasi ni bema kasa o ba kasa ipa chao ipa chao suya suya kasa nsa na wari o e moye boko e sanke ni bre e moye di di de bufuba Proverbs fifteen one. If you don't know how to talk, it doesn't matter whether you are married for forty years and you are eighty years. You are a mature man, you are a mature woman. So. Most problems in our marriages is because immature people have married. And when the husband is immature and the wife is mature, the marriage is going to be crushed. Oh, to physical and uh, physical maturity. Learn how to talk. Physically, you need to be attracted to each other. When you meet a guy, a man, and a woman, no, make sure that both of you are attracted to each other. If there's nothing like that, don't go for it. More anointing for me, oh, from Obey Esther. Thank you very much. Do you like his size? No, my dear, I can want some. You have to be able to wear it. 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 Because any any member in the house, may any of us know. Hey, Papa, where are we going to get some? So we are saying, those who are about to marry, preparation, ah, uh, before you marry, physical preparation, ah, uh, we are talking about maturity, physical maturity, know the size, the type, and then see him or see her that both of you are attracted to each other. If not. Don't continue. Discontinue your gossip or your dating. I say, I want to be brave. Maybe you are slim, brother. When Obama was nine, oh, Jimmy and I, oh, maybe two sisters. I go as well. Penny, they come in and maybe I as well. I go and say, ah, as well. Can see, say now go. I know where Jimmy is. I know. Please, I need that. No, Obama was nine. Say, the two sisters are going for dickness. Yes, I'm go. Na mire wa yake sebe do. O anu e nso ayeka se. Obi sada ni me hu. O bo wa okwe. Eh o se o don na kata be. Ntine ya kan se love is sweet. No love is great. Love is great. Romance is sweet but maturity is what makes marriage enjoyable. If you are not matured, it doesn't matter your love and romance level, you can never enjoy. I really love this teaching. God bless you, Papa. I don't know whether you have shared to somebody. Yes, I don't know whether you have done that. Only as are there, very, very necessary. So take care of your outward appearance as a single. Learn to take care of your outward appearance. The way you dress, physical maturity, it counts. Tell the way you're doing. Then tomorrow you try to tell me, say, 
So they said, "Oh, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie." What was saying? I I traveled to a place and I met a woman. I went to a restaurant. Hey, waiter, sixty-four year old young woman. You can't even see when you, you look at her as if she's in her thirties. And you must on him. And before being more, yeah, what yeah, yeah. Man, everybody, hey, we go, we be na ka, we be say. I want that day come out here. I say, "No, can you move to?" They say, "When you marry for long, <laughs> your this thing cannot shoot." But I, I disagree. What they are trying to say is that in most cases, when people marry for long, then they leave everything basa. So there's no nothing to push, nothing, nothing to turn things on. Do I say, "I want that day come out here"? What they are saying? Maybe a jet jamo, titifie, or what the Christ will need. Oh, we would have one small yapa. I don't see a sea in your fair. The entity is away, who knew you? Oh, yes, again, when she. So, those of you who are single, learn how to take care of your outward appearance. I'm not saying go and borrow and buy clothes. I'm not saying that. Even if you go and take one or two, make sure you clean your iron. Very necessary. Ebabwa, enko ye, enko ye mangrofo, enko ye kura, enko fawari ye, enye o, eme bie je jamu, eme me su di break, eme pato listen today, you know that some men, some men, somebody say, okay, some men, they know how break, okay, I don't know whether there's a man who who has break, men don't have break. Who is sending Mumu? Mumu to where? I don't know. Somebody is sending Mumu. Men don't have break. And then here you are. And you look at you. Why you are here? I don't see you. Who comes to your penny? I will do them. Now young girls, you will do them. I don't know where you are. I don't see you. I don't see you. Yeah, you have me. And my mother is not going to go. In the Bible, when we marry, First Corinthians six sixteen, uh, when you sleep with your wife, you become one, and when you sleep with a, a prostitute, you become one, and so it is good for you to live with your wife only, with your husband only. If not, you are going to have what we call soul ties. Having said that, there are some things that some men they confess that it is not me. I say it's you. See that everything is bizarre. Obey man said, "Who could not dream so?" And I said, "Why do you yet? I dream of, I dream of. And my mom, my mom, my kakra. Some wives, the way you carry yourself is bad. That is why I'm saying physical maturity is necessary. We should be doing that. As a young woman, learn how to take care of your outward appearance. Important. In case you are forgotten in the Bible, God look at the inside, but man we look at the outward." On the outside, what does it mean? Only part there, or she did two and you won. Only I'm not going to come. Maybe I'm not going to come. First Samuel sixteen, one to nine. Now when we buy, when we come to, no way get jaw hosa. We are going to die. I want to see you. We come to you. We are back. We are going to go somewhere. We are not going to be here. 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 Ya oni oma ya na buwa ukuru. Kwa se tre ya. Mo ho. Ya na di ya misa. Ma na ju ya la pa. Ya somebody will call me. Daddy. You talk for women mo. Me ka ya go po ansep da chao. And no no. Not only the the women. Some men too. Hey ye. Opo what mo do sa. Sebi sebo ye kura sini ya kasa. Sebi kura sini yo bi ya wune kura. Debi debi di. Ii. Obi ti hapro chezo ye kura sini. Obi yo bone yo ye kura sini. Onu mukasa ukurasini onyeske odina bonti ukurasini obi ochitu ona yere ukurasini oba ofidu kuwejo ukurasini obi onyeske omani ribi ni ukurasini jim kurasini samudi ebu ubu ono watu sa ofe noa oche green oche buru oche yellow yeah go for bread anyway to the singles we are saying physical maturity is necessary we simply mean learn how to take care of your outward uh, appearance. 
Very important. Don't forget, God only look at the inside of us. We look at the outside. And the idea, anyway, he heard you to anyone. And the idea, who know, and I come on him. And then the share so Papa, Papa, na ebabo. So when you talk about physical uh, maturity, the way you clean yourself as a young woman, as a young man, the way you take care of yourself, your personality, very crucial. Learning how to communicate, how to talk, learn how to cook, very necessary. How to make bed, very necessary. How to pamper a man or woman, very necessary. Very necessary. And then look at yourself that you are attractive. Very necessary. You will be on your one, no? there will be there, there be there. But all physically, no. I will see a see a who in your Now, ba, what shall or draws a way? Now, to be seen, now, because I will come box a short. I saw by many more. When your story, then I'm so bishop. Where you say the co bishop, I'm going to say, and call you. You box a short to no son. Nay, you are a higher crown. You're going so you have physical maturity. No, and who here? What do you fear your son? 30 years. But who to be ye? What one film film about you say, Kuha, and I'm going to show Papa Yama. You don't know how to clean your zoo. So, you see, we are going to be a few days. 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 We are going to be a and okay, anyway, and then and Facebook, of to me, and the physical maturity, you know, age, you know, anyone who sees see or dear. And very important. I feel, if I can say, learn how to relate with people, and that's very important. Relationship. When you pay BS, you are saying you need a partner. Very necessary. Because eventually, you're going to marry a man, and the man has family. The woman has family. So if you don't know how to relate with people, as somebody has say, Hey, daddy, you get money and you did not give your wife your village. Yeah, okay, what about women who have it and she didn't give a man? Me come, myself. I think I am a bit of 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 why you bugger our bontain? Nani, they didn't make common the woman. Crassini bear mana, or this is a quay ye, or this is a tokas, did them, none a macro scoot and tan time. Crassini, I mean, come, I mean, come, my dear. We are bear my shut up. My dear, dear, Miss Waho. Hey, daddy, if you get money, okay, my girl, we are on your bass and I make a bajo tea, me and we are. Sorry, Daddy. I have a problem with my phone. That is why my phone call you. Ah, are you the one who called me? Oh, okay, interesting. That's it. That's it. I'm running for the video. Enti, I'm going to you. Now you're ready. Enti, learn how to relate to people. Physical maturity very necessary. If you can relate to people very well, you are not ready to marry. You are immature. Don't marry. I say, be are not distant yourself from people. And you want to marry? That is why most married people are struggling. They didn't learn how to relate people. Physically, they were immature, and yet they married. Mm. So if you are a young man and if you are single, preparation towards marriage, you are saying maturity is required. 
in one area to mature his physical maturity. Learn how to relate with people. Very important. Because your wife or your husband may and will offend you. What are you going to do if you can't relate with people right now? And so those of you who have married, I'll put it to you, objection over rule, forgive and forget. Learn how to relate with people. I don't know. It's just grace. I traveled to Abruzzi first through my brother in law. Teach up began from the property of my wife and her siblings. I way. Teach up UK. We began from in my brother in law house. I don't. <laughs> By the grace of God. Grace. I pray for you in case you love my anointing, you love my grace. You receive your own person. That you go to marriage and through your marriage, God will catapult your life to your destiny. If you like it, shout Amen. Amen three times. Okay, Amen. Let's go to emotional maturity. So physical maturity, I'm giving you taking care of yourself, learning how to relate with people and all that. If you can't associate with people very well, it doesn't matter your age. Well, you know, boom. On so how are they? And so we were he. On so how are they? Hey, nigga, I saw you on the answer. Why were you so nice? We were he the end. Oh, yo, oh, yo. I saw my ass. Emotional maturity is very vital. So those of you who were with us Wednesday, hmm, let us take this aspect seriously. It's very important. Thank you very much. Emotional maturity. Emotional maturity, very, very important. For example, if you are a young man that you have not married and you are with a, a woman, you are with a man, young woman, and you have constant argument and constant disagreement, it's a sign of emotional immaturity. That relationship need to break it. Break that relationship. Uh, you are courting, you are dating somebody, and all the time you have constant disagreement and argument. It's a sign of uh, emotional immaturity. Say, oh, one of the BIG again for so many so, oh, she has a much. She said, emotional, I don't say, oh, no, who's what. Our day, in case you have married, you need emotional maturity so that you can forgive your wife easily. You, you can forgive your husband easily. You can forgive your in laws easily because they will offend you. But those who have not married, before you marry, check your emotional maturity level. But for you to know you are not very uh, mature emotionally, if you have constant disagreement and argument both of you brother relationship munyai munyam ko mbe bintra enya sam ho mo disagreement is a sign of immaturity listen today i did a research and i read about oh i had to know yantia ba so we e mo pa yewi a is your dear mrs obama former first lady US, she said in her marriage at times, she gives 70%, whereas the husband only gives 30%. Some people will say, oh, marriage is 50-50. It's a lie. At times, you need to give all. Our dear man, I was saying, 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 I was I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I can I do one? Can I phone baby? Can I do a massy? Eh, one kind of minty. The bay you could not, my mother said, What? Ha! Our dear mu Obama, it is say. Many me go to know. I told her, I was somebody. In other words, I give seventy per cent. I do let go. To the people I said, Mammy, Jay, if you feel my one deed. And then my auntie, I'm a money at Give me fifty, I'll give you fifty. 
Obama ma yere se o munzo enya san geto asa so emotional maturity is vital constant disagreement is a sign of immaturity and unnecessary argument bi bi ana o di bi bi ana o kasa o ba ti na ti ni bi o se de be mo be kan bi o be ya no a e o usa a wa re a chen usa enti na wa re en go yi no te na mi ko ni me kasa o no un kasa we are crying jaka we are judge o kasa o nu nya san do o view so if you are single pray to god oh god help me emotionally to be matured what does it mean? At times you need to let go your ego or your egoism for the sake of peace in your relationship. Marriage is a teamwork. So I went to learn something from uh, conflict management somewhere in the world. They say there's a word called we win and we lose. So we were deep them. Why are fine? Now we are ever a We don't answer. Say, why okay now? Kunu I take ten? You are like me. I was seeing me doing in a yenya again back. Now no, a yenya mare. You need emotional maturity. Let go for uh at times, as I said, your egoism. Ah, why is that? Any now? Go for the way. I mean, so now. Hmm. I am saying, oh, hey, any people who are worried now to say, yeah, we want a cancer or no? Anyway. That's why we have this school for you. Emotionally, most marriages are, most husbands are immature. They are low. Who do you fast a As a word, hello, that this is Kweku. Uh, Kweku, okay, okay. This is a powerful message, your daddy. Get that say. I'm a whole as a word, Kweku, okay. Who do you fast a monje? Listen. You must never allow your emotions to control you. Anytime, listen, your, your emotion controls you, you are immature. Whether you are 80 years in marriage, read my lips. Emotions, I say anything. Baby, how? You don't think. You don't sit down and evaluate the consequences of your actions. By your emotions is ruling you. No, if you do that, immature, uh, emotionally you are immature. Me da ime boni, nso yesu ti me jama ka. Odi huka me monso nso diye. Ha, emotional maturity diye ano diye. Na otu mese ngo fu awari bebri no musu swa ewo emotionally. Ti asem bebri. Now, let me start question. How well do you handle? How well do you handle anger or stress or crisis? Don't quite question. How well do you handle anger, stress, or crisis? If you are emotionally immature, when you are angry, where you are, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Hey, my pastor. Uh, my hostess, my shepherd, Nancy, emotional majority, dear home. I pray singles learn as I'm learning. And, and yes, I get all. How well do you hang, handle anger? And I'm going, emotionally, if you are not matured, when you get angry, you won't talk to your host, uh, somebody for a week. So now that you are single, how is your anger level? Look at the married men and women. Look at them. Obey my boy of food or baby. He didn't want to Yes, or any cord down. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll be a good deal. The whole body will be a Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Oh, quick man. No, I can't. I'm going to bam. Hey. No, I can't. I feel. And some people have you pastors. Their wives are crying. And the pastor is going to preach. This one, what are you going to preach? How well do you hang, handle your anger level? Um, yes, I, that's you. Emotionally, if you, want, if you want to know whether you are mature and you are a young man, young woman you want to marry, are you mature? Emotionally, no. Because look at you. You are not a young man. 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 
na adwuma no so wura so se na wote te wonkyere nkrofo adwuma wura wo ye bobo wate emotionally if you don't grow oh i pray for you your marriage will crash so right now majority of marriage it has crashed what are they doing they are just managing themselves there's no marriage there's no marriage oh. most marriages there's no marriage um, they are just there managing their children they are just managers not marriage material there's not nothing to <laughs> there's nothing to bring this people into uh compatibility they are not there and then the question be am I as a muti and say mongi the muti eh me also eh me desa me kore sa because Wednesday I could not go further so that's why we are doing this Friday thing and uh, tomorrow evening seven pm family matters eh uh, that's so you meet uh, Nancy Ajuado and her team Nancy oh boy juma and so you invite me invite me kakara the moment you call guy yo dey get me what you know picture up have ah we have many many good things for you and this one there's small thing i'm doing here hi i asked you a question how well do you handle your anger and you want to marry somebody says i'm this i want to marry if you can hand, handle your anger if you are dirty wait until you carry grace to handle it because it doesn't matter your age if emotionally you are not mature your marriage you can't. and most marriages have Christ so the husband are there in name that's all there's nothing so wife there oh a, a woman called me daddy I have four children with my husband if I can swallow my children I will eat them and kill myself a wife why because of the more treatment the husband has given to her when the husband was angry Obi to me from say me kun di matema me me do obe me di oba atem sa odo and ibu ofu o di atem and you want to marry and those who have married look at your anger level mr husband madam wife how do you handle your anger level your stress level and your crisis level this is a sign of emotional immaturity if you don't know how to handle these areas and this are Marry killers, marry killers. Okay, and Katia and Estina, Daddy, please give in your all in relationship. Why the man doesn't show any signs of caring is very painful. So should the woman continue to give the bigger percentage? Mama, yes. So Second Corinthians chapter ten, Second Corinthians ten three to five. The Bible says, and I quote. When your obedience is fulfilled, God will use your fulfilled obedience to avenge all disobedience. Give your your bigger percentage. Go do so, and there is God in heaven. He will reward you handsomely. Okay, uh, my shepherd. That is so. If you are the type that is quiet when you are angry, is it bad? It's bad. Is it better to solve issues right there or wait till no one is angry? Well, you know, I'm sure, Shepherd, you are the preacher. You preach to us. Uh, you are not just a hostess, but you're also a preacher. And you and I, we are all uh, liberals. And I see you as a colleague in the kingdom. We are all doing God's, although you call me daddy, but I understand. <laughs> yes, Chris Ty says, Daddy, I'm proud of you. I know you do. The truth is that when you are angry and you are quiet, the anger is there. In a way, you are not being bad, but in most cases, you can be. Some people can be quiet for days. But you look at your Bible, shepherd. Ephesians four, twenty six, twenty six. When you get angry, don't sleep. Don't sleep over your anger. In other words, don't allow sun to go over your anger. Meaning, when you get angry, you might resolve the issues amicably the same day. And the verse 27 says, So don't give the devil place. So when you are excessive, hot tempered, and you fail to control your anger, and emotionally you become immature, you, 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 you give the devil a bigger place for him to hit you hard. Yeah. 
And so I will tell you what I will say that make a decision not to get angry. And in case you get angry, resolve it. What are the causes of anger? Maybe somebody has despised you, the expectation has not been met, and all that. I would rather voice and say, hello, my husband. And the way you spoke to me, I didn't like it. Please, next time. That's it. There you go. Oh, my, 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 whatever. If what, today you call them babe, my babe. Hmm. The man is uh, 27 and you are 25. You call him, you call him babe. You are caught, you are in gossip and the person has done something wrong. Tell the person and let's move on. He now had your own yasin. Now the chin zemo. We have a boy, we have a rough one. So how I die as well. Yarebe and Daho. At a tin Yarebo. Proverbs 17 22. A good heart is a medicine. Good heart. A coma and the job may drop many pedia. A coma botoli, a we moja. A before we moja. A before we moja. A summon is here where we moja old Tom. One person yam be pia for some check. Shabrabai was single young woman, single man. Your brat to be a woman, over singing a memoir, no woof. And to patch out, make a job of buffo, I did, because on my dinner, or two back why I taught a bomb, a senior. Bab was over for many money, so I will tell you when you get angry, don't sin. If you open your mouth, be careful what you say. And if you want to be quiet, be quiet, period of time, and let go. But since uh, anger doesn't just come on silver platter, but something cause you to become angry. Confront it. Not in a notetic manner, but apologetic manner. Darling, oh mami yangasa. Eh, eh, ne dance yo. Darling, nadi angwe yo. Se ni onome kasa ame ni anje yo. Oka, no utia. Yesu se, we yo boni ya koninche kachile. Why don't you talk to our, uh, those who have offended us and then we keep things in. Because when you are quiet and the anger is in there, I will move down. I sell no man. I will be in the end of the day. And the people say, we are going to cry. And some of you are going to cry. You are going to cry. I will tell you, recommendation before advice. Recommendation before advice. If you want to advise me, you don't just look at me and say, Bishop, look at you now. These days, Somebody called me on radio. Now I said, you're a camera for the Hey, And in my preaching 23 years, we knew I told that professor and also I make him. Because I go. I go for me. But I want to say, I go, daddy, why are you? You mean, slow. I was here for a young man. Mr. Nancy, no kind of. Nancy does, uh, uh, she hosts our program once a week. Back home, family matters every Saturday, 7 p.m. I've not uh, been with her before. Tomorrow, do so. And somebody will do all research, reading, all general praying every day, fasting for you. The preacher, I'll say, I'll tell you, come on. And yes, I'm born, but I can't be so, I can say, oh, Bishop, when I say, I mean, slow. When you say, oh, no, I can't come, and I'm on my show, bro, for no, you need to come. Sani, I can't say. Oh! And you mean, you mean, so, I can't say, I'm going to say, you need to be one more. So, when you're there, oh, I'm going to be sure, but I'm going to be in there, but I'm going to be in there. And you're going to be in there, I'm going to be in there. So be Don't be silent, don't be quiet when you get angry and then destroy your system. Voice it out. Not in notetical manner, but apologetic manner. As I told you, recommendation before advice. What does it mean? Oh, my darling, I've never regretted getting married to you. You're a good husband, you're a good wife. But these things I don't like. That is how you talk to people. You don't kill me. You don't call. And Bishop, if you come to Facebook, some people, the way they call out, like, hey, I saw for you, I don't know. And that's why I go to meetings, I hear pastors like, hey, 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 maturity it requires in marriage because marriage is work it goes with responsibility and more than that but when you talk to when you talk about uh, maturity in marriage there are areas 
area to be matured. We have spoken about financial, physical. Now we are dealing with emotional maturity. And I tell you, it's heavy. The question to you, how well do you handle your anger, your stress, and also a crisis? How do you do it? As soon as you are day. Richard Kofi says, we have a lot to do as a Christian. You are right. Bible names at the baby young guy. God bless you. God bless you, Daddy. Well noted, Daddy. That is Nana Joanna C. Kofiamo. God bless you, Daddy. As a whole, emotional majority there. Except that some people anger. Oh, when they get angry. <laughs> Ecclesiastes chapter 7, 9, 7, and the Bible says, anger lives or stays in the bosom of a full Bible. Ecclesiastes 7, 9. O kwa siya yam ne bufote. O kwa siya yam ne bufote. In ka babo na ye. Yame ne mako ma ha ni. Yame ne bufo ya kasa mo. Yame ne sewa awan ni mo de outye. Masem. You do know Moses? Do you know that despite his level with God Almighty, he could not enter to Canaan land. Why? Because he failed to manage his anger. Hey, hey. And this one, you call this one marriage. This is no marriage. And those of you are young people. Before you marry, you need to be matured emotionally. Handle anger very well. Stress. Now, hmm. Ubao. Hmm. SMP. Now, I want to ask a question Do you cry on any issue? Do you fight? This is emotional. Immature. If there's anything you cry emotionally, you are immature. You are crying jaka. As every other who's oh, I put this up. I worry. Do you fight? We need to be temperate and Balance that is, you need long suffering. Also, when you are about to carry, as I would tell you, now you may not be can was a money maybe in marriage. There are some issues it is better never to discuss, but marriage is sweet. Oh, <laughs> you say it's sweet, yes. Who says no sweet? God says it's good, and so you are right. There's a mom, the truth is that. Why we are singles, we fail to work on these areas. We fail to prepare emotionally. So more people have entered to marry with baggages. How well do you express your view without becoming confrontational? I want to say it again. How well do you express your view without becoming confrontational? Say, oh, I want to go there. Can you go casa? Which say what we? But as they be are, they confront you. Oh yes, sir. You are not emotionally mature. Yes, only we be the mohem mohem subaya na mumba mubra. Now, oh, person, which say what? Can they say? As a kid, kid, as a year, 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 I'm just giving you emotional maturity. If every time you want to express your view, you are confrontational, then simply mean that emotionally you are not mature. Now, how do you see other people's view? If you think only your view is what it must be taken, you are immature. You are not God. Are you demigod? Why should your husband listen to you every day? Are you Bible? And 
Allah man to be a DSM. Hmm? Do you how do you see other people's view? And, uh, and somebody say I'm the man of the house. Look at you. Sebi sebi. Why you don't know me answer? Bema with TV ya. Ubu bu kasa ubu. Can can be. Can can be bema. Can can be. Don't know me answer. Can can be ni angware. Tanasi. Do see ya. So those of you who are young people who have not married. Any time you want to express your view, do you do it confrontationally? And in case your views are rejected, how do you react? This is emotional maturity or immaturity. God bless you. I've learned a lot. Thank you. That, that's true. God bless you, apostle. Hey, that is from Christian Ando. Do you take corrections? You are a young man, you have no married. Do you take correction? Why you need? Do you accept your mistakes? Yes, I go for worry. On the one money that we are yes. How how well do you sustain friendship and relationship? Ah, uh, if you are a young man and you are planning to marry, learn how to say, I am sorry. Learn to appreciate people when they do the right thing. When you buy a chain, and plan a yes, or chain. Oh, you'll be so bad. Where are you, Papa? Come for no, yes, I'm sorry. Come for no. Oh, child, come for no. Oh, by them, I want for you, and if you, where are you, Papa? Come, come. That is what we call emotional maturity. Are you ready to change? Because in the relationship, you must be able to ready to change and to adjust when necessary. If you are emotionally matured, you are ready to change and adjust when necessary. You need to be accommodative and hospitable. Oh my God. Uh, so this evening, <laughs> I decided to come your way because maturity requires in marriage relationship and areas financial, physical, emotional, spiritual, mental. And we have done, uh, we have already done financial and today physical, emotional. Don't forget, love is great, romance is sweet. But maturity makes marriage enjoyable. And maturity is not a gift, it's a choice. So it is up to you. But before you marry, you need to be mature because marriage is not a crutch, it's not a nursery. It has responsibility. That is why Genesis 2 24, a man will leave his family. A man, not a boy. So you need to grow. If God permit Sunday, we continue. Yeah. You need to share to help somebody about seven. I think say a bit Daddy, because I have four night <laughs> over here. Daddy, please, good evening. Please, is it right for your spouse to refer you always on your past mistakes? Hey, you are. That man needs to be beaten 100%. No, it is not right. It is evil. It is anti-scripture. It's unholy. It's sacrilegious for you to be remembered or referred of your past. The Bible Paul, the past. First Timothy 1, 13, 15, 1, 13, 15. I I na na If you are working with somebody and the person refers you with your past, you need to break that relationship. But in marriage, you can't break. You just pray to God and be accommodative. But that person needs counseling. And uh, uh, viewer, listener, if that is your problem, let us know. And then you need to book counsel for you. Because how will you refer me my past? Since Jesus has crucified man, he has taken it uh, to the cross. As a matter of God, don't have any records of any true Christian's past. No! So it's bad for us to do that. 
Anyway, this is Bishop Adolfo. I'm happy today. And uh, today you allow me to speak. I've, sp I've spoken almost one hour, 25, 29 minutes. It is here. Where Friday edition. You are not here. You are not here. Excuse me. What do you say? We want to, uh, we have married platform one and two. We want to go under one Telegram platform. So I'll give you uh, the links by November and day. If you are not with us in our Telegram page, your name will be deleted from our page. If you are not with us in our Telegram page, your name will be deleted from our page. You will delete the first and second one. God bless you. God bless you, my empower. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. I'm grateful, and you can talk to me anytime. Good evening. 024423 Madam say, 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 say,